another activity that we're going to do. And this is from the Exploratorium. It's called a Science Snack. There is a link in the course website. And this one also gets students thinking uh, about what it is that they see. Because a key aspect right, of doing science is making observations and trying to make sense of those observations. Right? In essence, observations are data. And what we're trying to do is make sense of the data that we are collecting. So what you're going to need is you're going to need two glasses. And you're going to need your plastic rod and your glass rod. You should have some vegetable oil floating around. You don't need much. You're going to want to fill up your cup to about you know two-thirds of the way up and your other cup with water about two-thirds of the way up. And it will also be useful to have a paper towel floating around. And so you can just use the same paper towel that you just unwrapped if you don't have one handy for the glass rod. Okay. And what we're going to have you guys do is you're going to pour the vegetable oil into one of the cups, uh, water in the other cup, and we are going to stick our glass rod into the water. And one of the tools that we're going to use over and over and over again in science is something called a POE, a Predict, Observe, Explain. So before you do anything, what I want you to do is stick your glass rod, start with the water, and go, okay, what's going to happen when I stick my glass rod in? What are you going to think you're going to see? Is something weird going to happen? Is nothing going to happen? And then do the same thing with the plastic rod. Okay, and then you're going to compare the two of them. Okay. Then, okay, stick it in the oil. That's the reason why we do the water first. Otherwise, you have to get the oil off of the water because it will mess up the experiment a bit if you stick the oil, stick them in the oil first. So then, do the same thing with the oil. Okay, you're going to make a prediction. You're going to make an observation, and then we're going to come off and we're going to try to explain it. And one of the ideas that we're going to explore here is the fundamental property of optics.